Hey guys, welcome back to part two where we're adjusting the transparency, also known as the alpha, of the image with the slider. So as you can see, we move down and it's gone. So check out part one if you are if you jumped into part two and you found yourself a little bit lost. So now that we have our image on screen, our slider in there, we're going to hook them up to um, our implementation and put the code behind it to actually make it do that. So we're going to open up our side-by-side -side editor and we are going to hook up the outlets and the action of the slider. So we've got our first action which this is going to be our image view or, or uh, whatever you put in there. So we're just going to call it image view because that's the type it already is. We've got our outlet selected and connect that. The next thing we're going to do is connect our slider. Our slider is going to be both an outlet and an action in this case. And so for this one, we're just going to call our outlet slider because that's what it is. And lastly, I'm going to give ourselves a little bit of room here. Lastly, we're going to hook up the action. And the action is going to be the value of the slider that's going to tell our image how much transparency or alpha it's supposed to have. And so in this case, select your slider. and We're going to do the same thing. But uh, instead of inserting an outlet, we're going to change it to an action. And so what should we label this? We'll just call it uh, image slider. That works. OK. And just to take note, as far as the event here, um, make sure we're doing the value change. Because as the slider moves, that value is going to change. And we're going to send a new action to wherever we distribute. In our case, we're going to be sending the new value to change the transparency of the image as it disappears or comes back to life, whatever you guys think there. So make sure it is a value change in that case and go ahead and click connect. All right, so now that we've got our header file fully connected with our, uh, our storyboard or XIV, the main user, user face there, we're going to go into the implementation here. And you guys, you won't believe how easy this is. Now, I'm just going to go back to the single screen at the standalone editor. Since we hooked it up the easy way, obviously we've got our synthesizers, um, four outlets. If you go down, again, we've got the view did unload. It already filled in the two, the set image view and the set slider for us. And then the last thing that it already did for us is it's added in our action as far as in the implementation. So now all we've got to do is just write the simple code that we're going to change the image view with our slider value. So we're going to write one simple statement, and you won't even believe how easy this is. Image view, which uh, that's going to be the image that you put in there. Alpha, so we're going to specify the alpha of the image view is equal to the slider value. And that's it. I kid you not. All right. So basically what the whole thing's saying is whatever the slider value is, the image view alpha is going to be reflected of. So if the image view slider value is 50, the alpha of the image view is also going to be 50. So it makes it really nice when you're actually configuring and, uh, and doing all that stuff moving forward. So now let's run the application. Make sure we've got it all correct because when you add this into your million dollar app idea, I mean, unbelievably awesome. How sweet is that going to be? All right, maybe, maybe not. I'm just messing with you. Anyways, open it up. Make sure it works. So as we move this down, we should see the image slowly becoming more and more transparent. So in this case, the image slider, I would say, is about 10. So our image would be reflective at a 10% of its full of, of transparency. So another quick tutorial so you guys can take that slider, put it into action, and uh, come up with some cool app ideas. Anyways, hopefully that helps. You know, Subscribe, let us know again what you guys are looking for, and we can help you out. All right, peace out.